So we're going to have, as we've just been saying before, Daigo on the Guile and then Gachiko on the Rashid. They've been playing so much. They've honestly been playing on ranked Battle Lounge, as we saw in Street Fighter League. If it is exhibition matches here and there, this is the finality of this rivalry. I feel like Gachiko has a lot more to prove out here. He's got a lot more he's got to do to take down Daigo, but he's sitting in his home element right here. Yeah. He's fully powered up. This is, for him, prime position to take it. Look, man, I'm going to tell you right now. In my eyes, Daigo is one of the greatest players of all time. One Without of the a doubt. Greatest players of all time. And for me, I feel like it's always going to be a test no matter what person you are. Whether it's Tokido, whether it's Punk, it does not matter. Daigo is a problem. Mm -hmm. Daigo will always be a problem. And I just want to see what Gachikun has for, for him. I mean, here we go. Gachikun being one of the Capcom Cup champions, mm -hmm. facing off against the test of time of Daigo Umehara. Pretty much Japan's Mr. Street Fighter. Look at the offense already in the big jump over the boom. Yeah, firing right back immediately after the wall of booms, right? Daigo, again, just wasn't ready for it. One misplaced boom. Yeah, V skill two. You gotta take note of that. Just notice. Just notice. You have to. Next door. Exchange of fireballs, projectiles, I should say. Gotcha Kun is in the position right now. These neutral jumps are starting to add up, and you see he's doing it a little bit out of range, not worried about the flash kick, yes, not sir. worried about the boom, using the angles of B skill 2 to keep Daigo locked down in this corner, and the life lead is definitely in favor of Gotcha Kun right now. It's like he's B shifting early. He's doing it midair. Oh, he's already doing it. In the air, though. Oh, that's our one baby boom. I love the way. Oh, he already oh adapted to it. He's hit it like what God. three or four times in that round. He's like, I know the timing. He's like, oh, place. got it. Thanks. Do we know this? Oh, standing oh. medium kick. What did I say? I know you're a, a decent Rashid at the least if you use a standard medium kick. My man, you stand medium kick confirm into V trigger. He's ready for this. First round versus Daigo goes to Gacha Kun. But this is a whole different kind of beast, right? I know it's the beast, but when it comes to exhibition, oh. Daigo is top notch. But Gacha Kun, he's making them look a little silly right now. Not silly, but a little different. He's making them bleed. Who uses B skill two with Rashid still? Gacha Kun has been using it a couple of times. Right? That's what I'm saying. You know wow. what I'm saying? Like, it's, he's so one of those people. He's definitely consistent with it. Oh, big. Uh. Oh. I got one, too. Trying to change up the trajectory this time around. You see him delay that jump, delay that approach, the little mini shimmy right now. Mm. Man, it just looks so clean, but here comes Daigo with the pressure. A lot of plus frames incoming. He tried to traverse past Bro, it. Bro, why fight. was he ready for that? They get, he has another answer for it already. Another answer for it. He had three different responses after going through not this dead, yeah. the, but he's he ran no. into the boom raw he just ran right into it he was like hey is anybody home boom Fire big away. louisville slugger to the face in waves of a sonic boom he just ran into it what happened he thought it was a pitch bro he was trying to hit a home run you don't see the outfit <laughs> get your <laughs> up this air what are you doing who told you to leave the using his feet skill who told you to do this Okay, oh that was a smart that was a smart adjustment. He's seen Daigo go up and meet him in the air a couple times, had a few answers, and now he's starting to adjust. That upside down kick, little small walk backwards. Okay, back throw, Gachikun. One round apiece in this first game. My man just did a whiff punish with the medium kick with a jab. Are you serious? He'll take any bit of damage he can get. He's not letting anything go unpunished. Dang, he's speaking of punishes. That sweep was clean from Gachikun. Daigo switching up the pace of those booms is going to change up those neutral jumps coming from Gacha Kun, oh. and that's the kind of things that happen. You overextend, and it puts you in this situation where you have to block a boom when you oh. get hit. And almost got caught again, text the throw, and I just realized Daigo's using B skill too as well. He's not going to land into it. He, he has is going to land into it. He has the answers. I meant he wasn't going to land into the boom, but instead... Daigo, 100% ready for it. Do you, there's got to be a switch of V-Skill. There's got to be a switch of V-Skill. I don't right? think so. I, to go past the booms, he might need to use V-Skill 1. To go underneath? I know, but you're going to go, you're going to take the ground approach versus Daigo? At least you have to make him think about it, right? Yo, at least you have to make, he's prepared, but at least you have to make him think about it. If you say, hey, all I got to deal with is booms, then he's going to start jumping. Is that what you want?
Yes. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. We've seen like every jump in hit at this point because he's been calculating them so well. He's like, oh, okay, you like using he these He literally too. saw it three to four times and is like, you know what? I'm positive I have the answer to this. I have streamed it numerous amount of times. In fact, here's the English translated version of my thought process. We've seen it and he's applied it. Again, he is the lab monster. Daigo has put this scenario to the test and it's been, again, stored in that wealth of knowledge that he has. He's looking like Scrooge McDuck diving into the pool oh, of man. knowledge. Right oh, now. man. In the deep. form of Street Fighter currency. It's deep. Honestly, though. The pool like, is deep, too. Yeah. It must be in the back of the closet because nobody's really using that B-Skill, too. Like, only one of my homies so, is out here. You know, shout out to Lizard Man out here using the B-Skill, too. He's been using it for a long time, but not many other Street Players are. So to I'm deal doing. with something like that and be like, okay, I see it. Now I know how to deal with it. And calculate that so immediately just shows you the prowess of Dao, like Daigo. I can't even I can't even right now. Do, you never even seen that before? It's like, was that DLC? I don't care. I'm taking it down. Three Easy. different answers. He had three oh, different boy. answers to stop what he was doing. He hit him with the SAT, all of the above? All of the above. He hit D. All of the above. And he hit D because he's dead. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oof. Man, these little walkbacks are starting to add up, and Daigo in game two has already put himself oh, at a range where he can whiff punish and make sure that Rashid plays a lot more respect. But we're not seeing any crouching heavy punches. We've only seen the air approach. Stand medium kick confirm into the trigger. Oh! Burning straight again. Oh, it burns up. Even Gil got up. He was like, man, get that dude a great, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, you see he's op he's not opting for the Sonic Boom thing from Dive. Big whip on it from Gachiku. No, you're right. Changes it up significantly, right? Keeping it to the ground game, just slugging it out with normal to normal. And the whiff punish yet again from Gachikun, forcing Daigo in these awkward positions, right? He thinks he's in range to hit with any normal, but Gachikun just taking those micro steps back and forth to kind of misplace Daigo's normals and go for the whiff punish to throw. Don't find the mark. Sonic Boom's finally coming out. I feel like once in a long time, and that's exactly what he was looking for. That's Bro. exactly what you thought was going to happen. You're like, thinking a Sonic Boom's coming out, right? No, no, no. <laughs> Not no, no, like no. this. No, no, no. Ooh. No, I like the read, though. I was thinking the same thing. And you can tell Gachikun was looking for the boom because he walked into this range, and Daigo was like, oh, there it is. That's where you want to go, huh? Well, guess what? I got an angle for that, too. Flash kick! That a little bit more compact, but he wants to throw more than oh, that. that was a nice counter in comparison to Gachikun's forward medium punch. Ooh. Oh! Yo, I've never seen that before. Okay, that was sick. That also, you thought it was I, over? I thought it was over. That was a godlike. That's how you know what God sees when he gets him out of the room. I was like, oh, excuse me? <laughs> Beg pardon. Oh. Getting a little bit of a turtle out, but it's still got you. Oh, that was God. That, that was, was insane. God. Like, can somebody digital scissors clip that and send it to me ASAP? I'm going to need that for future reference. We're, listen, if you're a Rashid man, you better steal that. Right? That was actually a Mac. What? the fireball from full speed. I've never seen the interaction with B-Skill 2 and B-Trigger 1 like this. I've not. I've never seen it. Oh, and just at the very height of getting that D X Eagle spike. Right at the eight. Ooh. Oh, I like that. He was trying to bait out the flash mm. mm. HP spinning mixer keeps the corner. Light lead in favor of Gachiku. The stutter step, oh. and he gets the shimmy, he gets the paint. Trying to get the stun, puts himself in the corner. I'm not too sure about this one, though. The reactions from Daigo! I don't know about this one, though. Do it though. again! Oh, oh. with the back to do it again! Get your ass back in this corner, I'm not done. Jump again so I can hit you with these boots. Oh, that's military great, but it doesn't matter to a baseball player. Those are going to slow you down <laughs> running around the diamond. They're going to slow you down running around the diamond. You trying to get to home? You got to get past me first. Speaking of diamonds, my man Gachikun looking like the ace over here, bro. I'm just saying, if you got that, you're a good one. Either way, all I'm saying is the switch-ups with the fact that he's using B, B skill 2, powered up by V trigger 1, I've never seen some of I'm telling you right Ooh. now, I've never seen some of these interactions before. And it's making it so he has multiple ways of entry versus Daigo. Mm -hmm. So once we were saying like, hey man, he's going to switch, you're not getting that kind of movement with V-Skill with V-Skill 1. It's not going to happen. You have to make him think about that approach. Make him think about throwing those booms because if you have a way over them, he's not going to commit to them. He's not going to commit to yes, them. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like there's a lot of reward that you see now too. The extensions that you get, there's the damage that comes from these exchanges. That The extension from these from, from all these hits, they add up so yep. much more. And that low health of Guile, 
gets them dusted just a little easier. Obviously, you got to deal with the booms and the zoning. That's always going to be a problem. But the great neutral jumps and the great timing from Gachikun, and when he spins his bar to get through the fireballs, or just neutral jumping that and getting out of the way, it's all coming into place. It's all coming together now. Yeah. Daigo has to find some more answers. He might look at the back of the book, dog. Might be scoping down like this, like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man, he's got, <laughs> it's he's got a cheat. cheat. He's got a cheat. cheat. Yeah, it's funny that you that. mentioned that. Like, yeah. That's the thing, though. It's just that Daigo's the professor of every single class that you go to. Even if you That's have the true. answers of <laughs> one book, you have to change to the next period. And he's like, well, it's time for math. You were listening. You were looking at history. It's time for the mathematical time. Uh, question. Daigo is sitting in, in the class, and he's the teacher at the right. same time. Yes, hey, did is. you get notes? You look up, and Daigo's at the front, too. Here we go. He's like, hey, do you have the answer to number three? Hey, listen, I'm also the teacher, by the way. Exactly. You just got got. Oof. Once again, you have to change up the speed of those booms, and I think Gachikun is kind of banking on that. That's why this B skill 2 really helps him out, but the timing, the change up time. Ooh, sit him also down! Bat you thought you were for takeoff? Himself? That is Colonel Guile. He is not clearing you for takeoff. He's in the Air Force, right? Why would you take to the air? Silly questions, right? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, why would you do that? Even Gil got up after that air throw. He, he's like, yo, damn, for real? Oh, bro. Is that how you do things on Earth? <laughs> I see. You are worthy. <laughs> Jump. Okay. So, again, back to the fireball game. Gosh, you're starting to get a good rhythm, or at least a, a good sense of Daigo's rhythm. Oh, no. And that oh, no! Coming in and even still. Wow. The recovery on that got got boosted, I think, like season three. I don't know if it's stuck before season four. Though. The boom game and Daigo has so much life ahead. Significant amount, and you love to see that. That's some of the coolest punishes from Guile. Just coming in raw, jump roundhouse, flash. Kick. It's a two hitter, but man, it's it's a beast. It's a beast of a, of a two hitter. That's a two piece. Mm. Say, get out of the air. Mm. Fly jets, bro. You're no jet. Uh, you're I no jet. I break the sound barrier with my arms. Great. Oh, flash kick. Oh. Heavy punch. Mixer to get back to the corner. I like what we're seeing. Oh. Oh. Just outside of range. Yeah, the mix up. Oh, the drop puts himself in the corner. Got you going in trouble. Goes for a little shimmy right there. That bazooka knee starting to come out. Daigo oh. trying to hold the corner. He's trying to keep it there for as long as possible, but the problem is Daigo does not have the threat of V-Trigger 1, so he's going to be hitting a lot of straight hits before he can try to force dodge to make the error. Okay, so I like that. Yeah, he's backing off just a little bit to get these errors out. And you can tell, that's been part of the game. He's just been backing up, letting Gachikun whiff, and then taking advantage of it, right? Set a boom on top of it, maybe just back up and get oh, look for the whiff punish, and he's, he's making sure to stay at that range. Medium kick, he can hit it right now. You're looking at a burning straight. This is burning straight range. So if you miss something, the glass is going to break. This is kind of tough. Will Gachiku throw out another normal to force Daigo to block to get that beat trigger? I know he's at the life deficit, but still. I can see it. I can see you know it what I'm saying? Look, he's very reluctant to do so. He's looking for counter pokes more so than just closing the gap. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, looking for burning straight. He's going to go straight and see. Hey! Oh! Oh, oh, you're in trouble. Chip out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he still, has, he still has trigger, but it's a knockdown, so he can't do anything. Yeah, and that was the thing. He was very aware of that. He wasn't trying to close the gap against Daigo too much. He wasn't trying to, like, force the issue. He wanted to make sure he got, like, a, a normal to counter hit against, right? Because if he got Daigo off of an opening and, but, and then Daigo and still reset, jumped. And he still could have been able yeah, to Yeah, like, it still would have been better for Daigo to get that V-trigger off. So we saw that instance just now. If Daigo manages to have bar V-trigger, he's going to go for that activation immediately and then take your life out through via chip. And you saw him going back to this range where almost every Rashid normal would have whipped, outside of maybe four medium punch, right? We saw no medium kick, nothing big coming from it, and he just kind of hovered at that range. He had full CA, and you know Gachikun was thinking about it. So he's like, look, uh, he's not going to throw a boom. He's trying to knock me down. And he knew it. He was like, he's trying to knock me down. If you hit him with that counter hit burning straight, boom, I'm going straight into CA. You're dead anyway, you know? And he, he doesn't care about spinning it, especially if it's going to get the kill. Gachikun, I feel like if he, I would say slow it down, but this is Daigo. I don't know what to tell you. If I was his corner man, I'd be like, you want me to throw the towel in? I don't That's know what to tell him. Hey, he's, he's, coming, the bell. he's coming to you. He's like, I see three of them out there. You, the best thing you can say is hit the one in the middle. Hit like, the what one else, in the middle. What are you supposed to say, right? I mean, at this point, maybe it's a B-skill switch, but 
it, it's just right. Daigo also at the same time is so smart about using that bar usage. You guys were talking about that. That meter management is super important. It always be in this one touch situation, or at least if he has critical art to put you on the back foot. And we saw previously he was just holding on to that bar and making sure that the job is done if he gets that one, that one touch, that one hit to do it. Yeah. Gotcha Kun might have to switch to the V skill because he's throwing all these fireballs and eating so much of this damage. Like at this point, it might be a switch up, might need a flip mode. Yeah, he went from math class, and he's, I, I feel like he's going to turn it into science class. Today. He's about to show him the physics right. of Dial. Right. Uh, you know, you know, Rashid's still in a PE mode, you know, still going to play baseball, but let's get it real serious now. Again, using that mm. Gachikun, and what a punish. Forward heavy punch. Check the Check time. The time the right? Seiko? The Seiko was what? Mm -hmm. Oh. And again, Daigo's taking it to uh, most of the normal buildings in this space. Now he changes it up. He's really keeping Gachi on his toes, but it's enough to get that trigger activation early. But that's something Daigo wants, right? Look at the amount of life he has. He's not afraid to just take that mix up and block. Yeah, I was about to say, you just walk into it, negate the option of even getting mixed up or opened up at any point. Ooh. Jimmy works out low forward, gets the mixer, the MP mixer. Oh, shimmy and that's again. been very consistent. That's the second time he caught the shimmy against Daigo. Oh. Stun is a factor. He's going to go for all throws now. Oh, yeah. Nice interruption on the EX whirlwind shot. You see him just walk out a little bit, do crouch jab, not even looking for a whip. Just trying to make him block so he can walk out of the corner. The full CA and trigger. Resources at the max for Daigo. How are we going to see the activation? Well, back dash off the boom. Oh, you're dead. You're actually dead. Charge it up. I eat me spinach. Daigo, the Air Force man. I'm telling you. Finishing it off with the critical art. That is about as Daigo as Daigo can be. Again, activation off the boom, and you have to guess what's coming afterwards. Gajiku, again, just falling a little short by the way. Still critical art on deck, though. Booms. No more. No normals whatsoever. You're not letting him get him any of them out. And on top of that, gotcha oh. blocking those booms. Oh. Not gonna walk across the screen. Finds the opening in anyway though. How many eagle spikes was it? That was three at least. Backing up a little bit, back to the neutral jump. Man, I feel like that's the first crouching heavy punch we've seen this entire set. Oh, oh. Okay, we'll punish. A little bit too close. Takes the knockdown. Goes for the big heavy kick right there as well. Oh! And away, caught the other fierce instead. Daigo now pushing Dachiku more towards the corner with that back throw. Another negative knee bazooka. And it's too close. Yeah, this is really close. This can be done by Gachikun, and he needs this round if he doesn't want Daigo to have a potential chance to take this set during the next match. He needs this match. And look at how aggressive he is. Even with a slight life deficit, he's moving forward a lot more than not, right? He's trying to keep it at least within pace of Gachikun's life. Goal. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's not a lot of people that like I feel like take in that gray life to account. Like, and I think Daigo is always look. He's one of those players who's always paying attention to it. So even though he's not getting no hit, oh, he almost did it again. Oh, you're actually dead. Mm. You're actually dead. Oh, 100. That is so wow. Nice. Okay, so wow. Even Lots if he's not scaling. dead, right? There's a lot of scaling involved. I thought he was dead, but there's still eight seconds. No! No, no, no. Swing and a miss, strike two. I felt that in my heart. That wake up XTP like, dog, I'm just, at this point, I know it's not going to kill. I'm just mad. I'm just upset right you gotta now. got to exhale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go I, outside. Get off of me! Yeah. And you just do it. <laughs> he needs, he's got to switch. Gotcha, Coon. Listen to me. You got to switch. This V-School ain't working out. You're not getting to the fireballs. You're getting held down in the distance. You got to switch, dog. Please. Please. <laughs> Please for me. Gachikun is in big trouble right now. One game, this next game could spell the end for Daigo. This one game could spell the end for Daigo. In a positive note. For Gachikun. In a positive say, side. Right? I was going to say. If you think about it, though, it's not completely undoable. It's just the fact that you have quite the uphill climb. That's the only thing. And it's not. It's, he's been finding these spots where he can get damage. He can get control. But the minute he does, Daigo's like, you know what? Let me go stationary for a little bit. Get these hits. Use this gray life. Put myself back in standing. And then he goes back to his game. This dude, Daigo, is just ridiculous, man. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of wild to see how Daigo has put so many different 
play styles in motion, different sorts of strategies in motion in such a small amount of time. You barely see the switch ups, but when it happens, you could tell that Gachikun gets a little bit caught off guard. There were so many instances where Daigo switches it up from just very simple. Let's, let's put it very uh, simply, right? He'll change from a fireball game to a normal game. He'll be a little bullish, then he'll be a little bearish, right? He's playing all the all the wheels here yeah. for the stock market game that is got. He's making dividends at this point. But here we are at finals week for Daigo versus Gachikun. Is Gachikun going to be able to graduate this year? Now look, man, we're about to find out. Because it ain't going to be with a baseball scholarship if you keep playing like this. That's true, man. Stand medium kick. Oh, burning straight gets the crush. And Daigo just takes You love to see those. I love that seeing that connection. Bro. Off the stand short into the flash kick. Advanced. Yo, even Daigo right there giving uh, Gachikun a little head nod for like, okay. Yeah, that, that, was, that was AP physics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Stun getting pretty big up there. Don't go for the throw. Daigo knows. Upside down kick gets the stun down just a bit. Oh, sit him down. Oh, the gray line. Did you see how much damage that did? Not as much as this will on combo for the jumping. Here comes the trigger, taking two away from the tornado, but it's still coming your way. He goes to this empty jump low multiple times. It does not close out the round, but the next one does. Another round on the board. Gachikun getting started. I will say Gachikun does a great job of knowing or identifying when Daigo wants to throw instead of move back for defense. He's done a great job of catching him with all of these walk back throw attempts. Mm. Kick. Okay, yeah. Playing around with the idea. Eating a bunch of these booms. People be like, yo man, why would you use a different boom? Because that throws off the pacing. Uh oh, back throw. Tries to jump out, eats a boom because of it. Crouching strong. Oh, I like that up tech. Gives him a combo. Switches sides on the corner. Reset. Defense from Daigo caught him low once again. The low medium kick finds the mark stun is imminent. Nice tech from Daigo. Oh, jump thought it was going to be an air to air, but it didn't work out. Burning straight has him in the corner. Gajakun walking out of the corner. Uses the V skill to move around a bit. Oh my god, this is so dangerous. Any activation, there we go, into the trigger. He's trying to bait mm. something from Gajakun. Gajakun Oh no! Oh yeah! What a punish! Oh, oh my no! gosh! Bro, did you see that punish? Are you serious? Set point Daigo versus Gachikun right now. And this is hefty. This is such a tall order to fill. You have a full critical art Daigo against, you know, uh, less than a bar machine Gachikun. He's going to have a lot in his inventory to throw out there. For oh, sure, man, these booms are doing the perfect job of controlling the screen. Their job. They're doing their job right now. And imagine. They only give Guile two moves. He didn't need more than that. Right? Oh! That's Damn, such a great it. way oh, to spend it. Man. Honestly, it was as if it was your anniversary. He right. went all out. No <laughs> expenses saved on that one. That's how you know he loves you. That was anniversary money. <laughs> it really was. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is not... And he's giving him plenty of hugs. Daigo is looking to take it all the way, but Gachikun still fighting for his life out Axel. here in the streets. My man's got a fingernail worth of life. Gets the spinning mixer. Oh my god, if that was a flash kick. Oh! And Daigo Umahara takes it over Gachikun. He's going to take it 4 1, and it was not for lack of trying. Daigo holding up to the name The Beast, and there you have it. Man. I think any other person, any other Guile player out there would have got absolutely decimated by this v-skill pick yes but but not daigo he learned during the match Whew. see that he has an anti-air as you guys if had, you had three, three different, different options. ones just cycling him so look at this oh. flash kick ender and he had super? he showed off two quick options in the same round and then gotcha was just like i think i'm stunned oh wait i'm not oh. <laughs> And he still had that point later on in the round where Gachikun was about to actually stun Daigo, right? It was like this could have been a, a tie turner and drops it. I feel like that's also when his, you know, when that when that mental break happened. I was like, man, I done messed this up. Yeah. Dang. And I felt that in my chest, and I, I could see that Daigo just like, definitely had the the grip on this entire match. Oh, there's so many chances for, and, and and Daigo makes these chances. He made so many instances Word. to make Gachikun repeat some of these 
instances, right? He's like, yo, oh, you like to take to the air? Let me show you what happens if you continue to do that. And he kind of just kind of put him in the maze, and then he closed off all of his options, and he left them at the start. He was like, you know what? That was cute and all, but now you're not going to be able to use V-Skill 2 anymore, right? Now you're not going to be able to cross me up anymore. And I feel like some of that comes from the fact that Gachikun put himself in the corner, right? And when you get down to the last little bit of life, you're like, well, they're never going to expect me to put myself in the corner. And every time, Daigo was like, oh, thanks. Thank you for doing that, because now you're stuck here. You're not leaving, and you have to deal with this offense. I wish we just had a couple more matches. I do. I, 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 I so big. wish we had more matches. I, I know that Gachigun was slowly starting to figure it out, but Daigo, again, was just too far ahead of him to let him catch up. Honestly, that was, that was a, a prime example of some of the best street fighter we could ever ask for. And honestly, I... I, I still couldn't really tell how to call it. It could have gone to, down to the wire, but for the most part, I believe the analysts were correct, or at least Rob TV finally got his W in predictions. So let's see how he feels about it over at the analyst desk. Before we watched the match, I talked about Daigo's history and how it's just so difficult to bet against him in long sets where he knows who he's going to play against. He's just been so strong, and he did the same thing today. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, it was great to finally see Rashid V-Skill 2 graduate from Diamond Online rank and get some real usage here in the Capcom Pro Tour Season Finals on the big stage, but it didn't really kind of go the way Gachikun thought. I, uh, I can only guess that V-Skill 1, those extended pressure strings that Rashid usually gets, might just be uh, too obvious for someone like Daigo to shut down. So we saw a lot of usage of that to get over booms, try to mix up his approaches, but Daigo had all the answers. And, you know, we talked about Daigo coming with something new every time. Well, what makes him so great is when he knows when to stick with something that just works. He even said in the interview, Guile beats Rashid. I don't need to do anything new. Gashikun was the one who had the pressure to mix things up, experiment with that V-Skill 2, and it just wasn't enough. I mean, Daigo, he just ran a clinic on footsies and spacing with those booms. Even from the very beginning, you know, you could see round one, game one, we saw Daigo ready for that V-Skill 2. When he punished with jump roundhouse into super, yeah, it's flash kicking super right. Yeah. He was ready right away. That was a that was a beautiful thing. I feel like we haven't really seen Rashid's V skill two at a high level in tournament probably ever. Maybe just like the first when the, when it first came out before everyone came to the conclusion that it wasn't a strong V skill. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I want to make sure I point out with Gachi Kun, outside of just how amazing his neutral was, the whiff punishing with sweeps and things of that nature, is the fact that even after Daigo started punishing that V skill two, he did not switch over to V skill one, mm -hmm. and I think that's a beautiful thing. And it's admirable. A lot of times, I feel like in tournaments, when it comes to more, I would say, mid-level players, they might try to go for a V skill like that in hopes that you don't know what gimmick is going to come behind it or whatever. Right. Whereas they don't have an actual strategy. The region, got, the reason Gachi Kun stuck to that is the same reason why Infectious stuck to his old Zeku the entire time against Takamura. These guys are going in with a clear and concise strategy that they could write a book on if they needed to. And it turns out that Daigo read the book on V. <laughs> right around Gachikun as well. We're going to take a short break, but trust me when I say you are going to want to stick around. 